I've got everything set up to uh, start this build here. Got the motor. I already took the cases off. Well, I didn't take that one off, but stator's good on that. And I got all my parts. Got my stage three cam, my new cylinder bearings, oil seals. New piston rings, uh, plus four millimeter crank, uh, heavy duty cam chain, and then uh, what else? Thought I had more parts, maybe not. Oh, well, I got a new gasket set over here. That comes with the kit though. Um, I'm going to kind of show you guys show you guys on uh, kind of how to install the new parts. Um, I just noticed my head looks like it's been ported already. Sure does. But um, I'll show you guys a couple of tricks when you're when you're doing this. Make it a little easier. If you've never done it before, this right here is going to be your best friend. It's everything you need to know on how to put this quad together, motor-wise, and everything. I guess I have a fan going because it's like a hundred degrees in the butcher shop here. So yeah. Look table set up. I had to do it in here because it's the light situation. It's a little dark in the garage to try doing it. Um, well, I'm going to get it set up here and then we'll start. Alright, got everything both set up here. So I'm going to take this head off. I've already taken all the screws out. I already had it off once, so I was kind of checking everything out. Not much to it. The gasket still looks pretty good. I'm going to replace it anyways. So the next step is going to be take the timing chain tensioner off. And actually keep that in there. I'm going to show you guys a little trick here um, that I've learned. I don't really have a bit to show you, but and you noticed this little screw right here. If you take this off. Bit for that. Let's see if we've got anything here. I do grab one. It's not going to fit though. But I'll kind of show you. I don't know if you can see inside there, but there's a little. See how there's a little Phillips in there? You can actually put a bit in there and uh, you can turn it and it will actually pull this back and you can actually lock it 
if you're just going to be doing like a, a timing chain replacement you can uh, put a bit in there and it's actually really nice I'd show you but I don't have a bit so you guys can try it on your own you don't want to push down you just want to turn it straight to the right without trying to put any tension on it and then uh, and then you push it in and it will actually lock it so timing chain looks actually really nice yeah. Take this off and get to our uh, this is our oil pump right here. And if you haven't done this, I would try to keep your stuff in order. It's just a lot easier. Now we can go ahead and take our uh, timing chain tensioner off. Let's see what we're working with here. Now when you do that, make sure you keep track of this. Because it has a That goes on there like that. Common sense. See, as you can see, I desperately needed a new one. I don't know if you can see that. This camera kind of sucks, so sorry. But I might keep this all together. And when I first pulled this case off here, there was actually um, a few chunks of steel that I'm pretty sure either came from the piston or the uh, piston or the sleeve. Keep this with that. Now, like little stuff like this, I would normally little stuff like this. I'd normally just take a piece of tape and kind of wrap it around there so you don't lose it. Lose parts to it, because then it starts to get confusing. And that's never good. Take a go ahead and take the oil pump off. Oh, that one wasn't even tight.
Hmm. Good way to check it is. You just spin this just like that and you'll be able to feel it if it's not good or it needs to be replaced this one's really smooth yet so that's still good These are probably the worst freaking thing with doll pins. It's nice when you have a book because you can read where they go, but they still get confusing. Now I'm going to pull the screen off, see what kind of debris we got in here. If I can even get it out. Got so much shit in there. Oh yeah, see that? A lot of metal. Oh goodness. Let me show you guys here. There. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it in there, but... Focus, you fucking camera. There you go. There it is. A lot. A lot. <clears throat> but that's what we got all this stuff for. And since I figured I'm going to rebuild it, I might as well go with the 460 stroker. I've heard they are. Pretty nice. Something ain't right. So we're fixing it for you. Right. Not any better. And if I fuck something up, I can go back and look at it. Which is always nice, huh? Up, 